Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a prophetic word from the Lord today, and that word is be intentional and stay focused on your marriage assignment. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, the Lord has given me a dream last night, and the dream indicated that I was not as intentional in my personal life as I thought I was, as it concerns staying focused on the promise and putting forth my best effort to receive what God has been, well, this this has already been deemed in, in heaven to happen for you and for me. This is already stamped in heaven. So I'm going to say that I have not been intentional with posturing myself to receive what God has said. And oftentimes that can cause stagnation when we are not in alignment with God. And so this is your intervention right here, right now, because... <laughs> Anyway, okay, here we go, here we go, okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Milo, thank you. So yes, um, some of you may not have been as intentional as you should have been because of discouragement, because of doubt, because of fear, because of worries and wonders, and I understand, you know, we are only human, God knows that we are only human, and so, you know, sometimes we can kind of get off track, not knowing that we're off track. And it's like you're running off of fumes or, or, or very low faith, or you're just in this place of like, God, I just really don't believe it. But I'm just kind of just going along with the motions. You know, this is where I was at. This is where I was at. And then I, I kind of like lost focus but not completely, you know, and I'm being transparent, you know, and I, I bless God because the Lord still gives me the anointing to coach and to inspire and encourage. But, you know, many of you know, as it concerns your own personal life and your own walk, sometimes it's kind of like a struggle when you're trying to walk out with what, what you've been telling everyone else, you know, so I praise God for always just anointing me to be able to still operate in this ministry and do what he has called me to do hallelujah thank you jesus it's, it's just in my own personal process sometimes it's it's easy to kind of like fall off track and so some of you have this same situation going on right now where you have fallen off track or you have not been as intentional or as focused so anyway i'm going to tell you the dream that the lord gave me so in my dream i basically gave up on what the lord had told me that um, that I was going to receive my breakthrough, my miracle, your marriage promise. You know, this is this channel is intended for kingdom marriages. So um, many of you have basically given up, but you haven't said it out loud because you don't want to admit you 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 know you don't want to admit to yourself or out loud that you have kind of given up, but you really have like got into that headspace of you know what I'm just going to give up, and so um, or some of you have been close to giving up. And God deals with me a lot about what you all are dealing with. And many of you are in alignment with the spirit of God that's on my life. And many of you are in a similar space as me. If God has led you here, if the Holy Spirit has led you here, and if you are standing for the right person, and if you are in season for what God is doing concerning breakthrough within marriage, reconciliations and restorations within marriage, and coming together for the first time in marriage. And so in the dream, I, I basically gave up, you know, I basically was like, well, you know, that's pretty much it. And I was looking for comfort food to, um, to help me to I feel, feel better about myself. Yes. I was looking for comfort food to help me to feel better about myself. And, um, I always feel like something is on me. I don't know why. I don't know why, but yes, I was looking for comfort food and that food was, it was cake and cookies. And so I don't know if this means anything to anyone about the cake and the cookies. I don't know if maybe the Lord has been telling you to stop eating cookies or stop eating cake, or maybe you've been eating too many sweets or maybe who knows, but in the dream, for some reason, I was looking for comfort within cake and cookies. And so when I got to the register, the cashier, he started fussing at me. He was like, Shannon, where is your faith? What in the world is going on with you? Where is your faith? And then he was like, um, you know, and, and I was kind of looking at him like, 
I don't know. Like I was at a loss for words, for words. I didn't say anything. And so before I began to say anything, he said, it's called morning. It's called morning. And I was kind of confused. I was like, it's called morning. But the Holy Spirit let me know that he meant like morning as in daytime morning, but not morning as in like mourning someone's death. Because at first I was like, oh, am I mourning? Am I supposed to mourn the, the, the death of my promise? You know, I was kind of confused, but the Holy Spirit was like, no, mourning as in joy is going to come in the morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so after the cashier fussed at me for my low faith and after the cashier told me about morning, you know, there there will be joy that will come in the morning. The scene turned into me like falling down this very, very steep hill. The hill was so steep. It was so challenging to even walk down and coming up the hill. Oh, my goodness. It was it was a lot. So I put forth very little effort to climb up this hill. I mean, I was putting very little effort and, you know, and it was a challenging hill as it, as it was, you know, and I was just trying to get up, trying to get up and I wasn't really doing my best. But then I saw, um, one of my friends and, um, that was already, she had already made it at the top of the hill. She had already made it at the top of the hill and she didn't like help me, but she was encouraging me like, come on, Shannon, like, let's go. You can do it. She already made it to the top. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And she's already on this journey with me as, as well, you know? And so I started to like put more momentum. I started to be more intentional and I started to really put forth the effort to get up this very steep hill. And so right when I was getting ready to get to the top, it seemed like it was like the biggest struggle to get to the top and stand up on top of this hill. And so I believe that's the Holy Spirit saying that right before you're on the brink of this breakthrough, it probably will feel like it is like, oh my goodness, such a challenge. You want to give up. You want to throw on the towel. I mean, you are fighting against all the odds. You want to give up. That's how it felt when I was just about to get on to the top of this hill, but I made it to the top. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hopefully I'm not boring you with this dream, <laughs> but you know, this is all wrapped into the point of being intentional. And it's just so amazing how God has um, communicated with me where I am and where I need to improve and also to communicate with you all how we need to improve or some of you may may not necessarily be in this space but maybe you just came from this space or maybe you might hit this soon or maybe you're watching this video later on and this is where you are this is your encouragement to let you know that you have to stay intentional you have to be focused do not forget the assignment and if, if you have to ask the Lord for renewed strength, for God to give you the blueprint, if you have to remove your pride and ask God to help your unbelief, but make an, an, an active effort to believe God, to trust God, to get back in the race. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because you are close. You are close. And God had, God had to correct me on this because he said that many of you are close to the finish line. I am close to the finish line. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so now is not the time to not be intentional, to not be focused. Okay. This is your reminder that God is not a man that he should lie. And he is not the son of man that he needs to repent. So we have to stay in alignment. You got to stay ready. You got to keep your military clothes on. You got to be ready for battle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you have to fast, if you feel led, if, if, if you have to listen to worship music every single day, put on the worship music as you go to sleep. You got to be sober minded because the, your enemy, the devil is walking around here like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour, looking to devour you and your, your marriage promise and your husband and your wife. The enemy is waiting for you to slip up. The enemy is waiting for a, a legal right to come into your situation. But I rebuke the devil right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every monitoring demonic spirit right now in Jesus name. I cancel every witchcraft attack. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that your strength is renewed, that you are encouraged, that you rededicate yourself in this journey to the Lord. Hallelujah. And, and everything that concerns you rededicated to the Lord, repent and say, God, I am a God for, forgive me for not being as intentional or for not 
believing or for wanting to give up, but God loves you so much. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. He is lovingly correcting me and, and, and through me, he is lovingly correcting everyone else. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so we are rededicating ourselves, getting back in the race, not allowing pride or doubt and, and fear or discouragement to stop us in our tracks. You cannot give up. You cannot give up. You cannot give up. You got to keep pressing forward. You got to keep praying. You got to keep going. You got to keep believing. I know it's taking longer than you want, but trust me, it will be worth it. It will be worth it. The devil is trying to wear you out at the last minute. Do not give him a legal right. Do not give the enemy a foot hold at all in your situation in your marriage you are the divine intervention you are the righteousness of God the Lord needs you to keep going hallelujah thank you Jesus he is working something on the inside of you he is building up your faith let perseverance finish its work hallelujah thank you Jesus yes God glory and I have a scripture that the Lord has given me as this is concerned and this scripture is Philippians chapter three, verses 12 through 14. This is the amplified version. And it reads, not that I have already obtained it, this goal of being Christ-like or have already been made perfect, but I actively press on so that I may take hold of that perfection for which Christ Jesus took hold of me and made me his own. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider that I have made it yet that I have made it my own yet. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and reaching forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God, you cannot give up. You may not do things perfect. You may not cross every T and dot every I, but as long as you keep going, as long as you stay in the race, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We are almost there. As a matter of fact, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says we are here. We are here. The time is now. This is the moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you got to press on, press on what it says toward the goal to win the heavenly prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord, you are walking in your promised land. You have arrived. There is breakthrough. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Stay in alignment because any day now, stay in expectation because any day now, the promise headed up Oshotoni is going to be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, God. I want everybody to be encouraged. I don't want nobody to give up. I don't want nobody to think that God is not going to do it and, 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 and God must have forgot about me. God has not forgotten. It's all about timing. There is an appointed time for deliverance. But yes, some things only come out through fasting and prayer. But make sure you do your part by fasting, by praying and believing, staying in expectation. Because the Lord is going to break through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He is breaking through your situation, through your spouse right now. Now is the time for deliverance. Hallelujah. And salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. If you feel led to sow into this word, I will leave the information in the description and in the comment section, in the comment section below. But if you have already sown, I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I pray that the Lord increases your seed a thousandfold in the mighty and miraculous name of Jesus. And also, if you feel led to sow into this word, put into the comment section, I am going to be intentional with staying in alignment with what the Lord has called me to do. And, and even if you don't sow, put in the comment section of your seed, I am going to stay intentional with the assignment or whatever you want to say. Just put a prophetic declaration in, in the atmosphere to let the world know, let me know, let yourself know, let the devil know, let YouTube know that you are staying in alignment and you are going to be intentional with this, this, this promise with whatever it is that God has called you to do, whatever the assignment is, however the Lord has called you to show up in your spouse's life and in your life and in your ministry, in your marriage, in, in, in your business. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And also, if you feel led to book a coaching session with me, do not hesitate to book the session. Now is your time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is, is, is calling some of you to book a coaching session with me and you have not done it yet because you may be nervous because you're, you're afraid of maybe being judged, but I will not judge you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So let's say if, if, if you just want someone to just vent to, 
that's fine. If you need clarity, if you need guidance, if you just need some counsel, I am here for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Only if you feel led by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God, because the coaching sessions are Holy Spirit led and the Lord always shows up in some way, some shape, some form. And I just appreciate God for always showing up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But I do one hour coaching, 30 minute coaching, two hour coaching if you need more time and couples counseling. And also um, after you make your payment, you will receive a confirmation email with the Zoom link. So it will not be a phone call, it'll be a Zoom call. So make sure you look out for that email to get your Zoom link. And also if you can't afford the uh, payment on the website, I do Afterpay and it's only available in the USA, I'm sorry. Um, I wish it was available in other countries, but it's just available in the USA for now. And so if you need Afterpay to break the payment up into fours, then send me an email at propheticmarriage at gmail.com. Yes, Lord. And so you only have to make the first payment to have this to um, to have the session. And then the remaining three payments will be automatically drafted from your account every two weeks. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But yes, you guys like this video. If it has resonated with you, share it with a friend. If you feel that it will help them subscribe, if you feel led. But I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.